All right, man, peace. So, brothers, I caught this very disturbing segment on the CBS Nightly News, and I just want to do a very quick video on it. It's going to be another addition into the Black Man Protect Your Seed series, of course. And, you know, a lot of times we say about the so-called black woman that when she has a child with a man that she no longer favors, she takes out a lot of her anger and resentment on that child, especially if it's a male child and that child happens to look like the father. Well, in that same vein, many so-called black men have a child with a woman that they did not mean to have a child with. And they have a lot of resentment towards that child because that child forms a connection with that woman for the entire life of the child that that man does not want to have. And that's really just a manifestation of poor decision making on our part as so-called black men. That's why I always state we have to take our time with the females that we're with and be very serious on every aspect of the decision making process. Because when we bring a child into this world, this is a Babylonian world that we're in, man. You really have to be of one mind with that woman when you decide to make a child. You just can't say, oh, she got a fat ass. I'm a busted nut. It doesn't work that way because now you're bringing a child, your offspring, into a world of confusion. And nine times out of ten, your baby's going to get caught up in it. It's like a tidal wave. Your children are going to get caught up in a lot of the bullshit that's going to befall this kingdom in the quote unquote last days. And you can tell that we're in it as we can see because... Day after day, they're just bringing out all of these new reforms out of nowhere. These super liberal, everybody's equal, respect and love everything and everybody. They're totally trying to disavow mankind from any sort of real spiritual aspect on the right hand side and get them to embrace Luciferianism, which is self-worship. And you can see the trickle down effect. Everyone is depressed. People are searching for real answers. They don't know where to find them because they've been taught that the Bible is a contravince. But just to get back to the topic of the video, we're going to see two very young black boys who were basically left on the street to die. And it's very important that we understand what our children are. They're like little gold nuggets, man. We have to protect them like how you would an object that was made out of gold or silver because they're that valuable. And if you don't view them that way, don't have them. It's very simple shit. So anyway, they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. And now some new developments after two young boys were found wandering alone in two different boroughs today. Police have say, have say rather that both boys have been reunited with their families. The you know, brothers, there are a lot of degenerates out here. There are dudes out here that will try to rob and beat down a little boy. Every once in a while, if you pay attention to the news broadcast, there's some nut job on the train, on the platform, at the bus stop, who just walks up to a three-year-old child boy or girl and just punches them in the face and nowadays people think that stuff is funny for whatever reason you also have sexual predators who will pick up a child take them somewhere and who knows maybe sell them into a child sex slave ring maybe rape them and kill them so i have no idea why a man would have a child and leave them unattended in the Bronx is now with his mother and was taken to the hospital for evaluation. Police say his father dropped him off at his mother's house when she wasn't there and the boy escaped. What that really means is that maybe the father had somewhere to go and he and the mother had an agreement. Maybe she wasn't at home or maybe the father just didn't give a shit and said, I'm going to leave him here. Me and the mother just had an argument. She's acting difficult. I'm going to do me. Who knows what it was? Either way. You can't leave your child outside of the door of the mother's apartment. We already know that the relationship structure in this kingdom is severely fractured. For the most part, the woman only wants to deal with the man until she gets impregnated, then act up. Or many of these dudes are skidding up in random broads and don't want to accept the commitment that they made when they ejaculated inside of that woman. Point being is this, brothers. We have to view our seeds as being of the utmost value. That's the only way that we're going to be able to reclaim the rulership. We have to understand the importance of the patrilineal line is of the utmost importance. Father has been arrested. This surveillance video here is from around 11 o'clock this morning at Webster Avenue and 167th Street when a good Samaritan took care of the boy until police arrived. And now this. And who knows what could happen? The parents might lose custody of that child. The child might enter into a foster home with people who might be intent on abusing the child mentally, physically, sexually.
Oakland, where another five-year-old boy has been reunited with his family. Police posted this picture earlier today when they were looking for the little boy's parents. Officers found him alone at Buffalo Avenue and Park Place, close to where he lives. You know what's so terrible about that type of stuff, brothers? These children, they're very curious. They walk up and down the block. You never know where they're going to turn. They could get hit by a car, as I've already stated. They might get hit by a stray bullet in some of these neighborhoods. Could get kidnapped. You have children who actually have parents who care about them who've been kidnapped, sexually abused, left for dead, killed, dismembered, etc. So when I see stories like this, I say I'm always going to make a video about this because so many brothers, we have to return to that understanding of if we're going to have a child, especially a male child, that we treat them how they deserve to be treated because when you turn on the TV, the other races look to their children as being of the utmost importance. We're constantly being told that black girls rock and young black girls are great, especially when they're taught the correct things and they're in their right mind, which most which most of them are not being taught anything. That's why they grow up to become super liberal black women. That's a whole other topic. Point being is this. We have to restore that sense of confidence into our sons that they're going to be somebody that they should love themselves and that life is about a lot more than just looking in the mirror and not liking what you see. Anyway, peace.